Welcome to Dead Boys Corner, and today what we're going to do is we are installing Tony Hawk's Underground 2 on uh, the Steam Deck slash Linux, and also getting uh, Thug uh, Pro to work with it, because uh, that is a mod for uh, Underground 2 that adds like additional levels, skins, skaters, online multiplayer. It, does a lot and it's actually pretty fun so let's get right into it so as we are at the desktop we're gonna open up uh, dolphin and i will have uh, the links for everything in the description so unlike other tutorials this one is gonna be a bit more um like there's going to be like a few more like steps into it uh, because we're going to be dealing with .NET 4.8. So uh, for the first thing, we're going to go into Lutris and create a dummy prefix. So we're just going to go add locally installed game and then we're just going to name this uh, .NET 4.8, or nah, we'll just name it .NET. And then for the runner, we're going to select Wine, and then we're going to go into Wine Prefix, click this. And we're just going to find a place to place the prefix. Um, for this one, I'll just create a folder on my home directory, just name it .NET, and press OK. And then press the Save. Now we're going to uh, go into Wine Tricks and we're going to install .NET 4.8 into this uh, dummy prefix. The reason why I'm not using uh, Proton Tricks to do this is um, Whenever I try to use it in Proton Tricks, it doesn't matter what wine version I use. It just fails the .NET 4.8 install, but in Lutris, I haven't had a problem with it. So I'm not entirely sure why it fails on Proton Tricks and why it works on uh, Lutris. It's just it kind of it is what it is. So let's scroll down to net 48 because that's the one that we need and then we'll just go through the whole entire install process it takes roughly about like five minutes to to like get it set up so i'm gonna pause it and then resume once it is ready and now that .NET is installed, we'll just go into Wine Tricks and just verify to make sure that it is installed in the prefix. So we'll just go run uninstaller just to check what's installed in the prefix. Yep, there we go, .NET 4.8. So now we can close out of Lutris for now because we really don't need it. And then we get into the uh, install process. So we're going to add a non Steam game. Going to press browse. And then we're just going to go to our Thug 2 install, go to setup. And then we are going to run it once. And then we'll like close out of it yeah and set compatibility proton experimental and then uh, run it once so that it actually pops up the installer because that's the thing that creates the prefix yep right about there because once it actually renders the window that's when it actually creates uh, the prefix so now we can just go into proton tricks
just find our setup exe just like this. And go to set up default line prefix, and then we're going to go to browse files. So this is our generated prefix. So we're going to go up one folder, and then we are going to delete the prefix folder, then go create new. We're going to do link file or directory, and then we're going to name this prefix and then go to directory, and then we're gonna go to where our .NET is, which is right here. So you just set it like that, and then that creates a symbolic link to where our .NET prefix is. Now we can actually open up uh, the setup, and we'll have .NET 4.8 in the prefix, so when we run it, so how we know that we have .NET 4.8 installed is it says it has this error. Sometimes it likes to pop up twice. I guess this time it only popped up one time. Okay, dope. And then now we're just gonna go through the installer normally. So with this installer, It's one of the full screen ones, but it has the CD key thing. So we're just gonna alt tab out of it and go into our file manager. You can close out of that folder because it's not needed. And then we're just gonna open up CD keys and then we're gonna copy each little line and just paste them in the box just like that so da, da, da. 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 And uh, press OK. Yep, appears to be valid. And next, accept. Next. And then we're going to go my computer, Z drive. And then I like to have this in uh, my games folder. So I'm just going to Alt tab, go into where my games folder would be. And then I'm going to create a new folder for it and just name it thug2. And now I will browse to it. So I'll go my Z drive, home, deck, games, thug2, press select, and then press next. Next, and no. And then now it will go through the install. This takes a little bit, so just give it some time. So now once it's done, it'll ask, do you want to create a shortcut to the Windows desktop? No. No. And no. No. And yes. Finish. And then that is it installed. So now we'll just go put this to where we have our game. And then we'll just go to uh, Thug2. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, no, we need to be in that game. 
we got to set it to the launcher first because if we go straight to the game, it uh, it, uh, it crashes. So we got to open up the launcher. Yeah, I set that as that and uh, save settings. And then now we can actually set it as uh, the game, just like that. And then this should be able to launch. Wow, runs great on Pentium 4. So, if you just wanted Tony Hawk Underground 2, that is how to set it up. Uh, we're going to go one step further and set up uh, Thug Pro. So, let's get right into it. So, after we have a, a, a Tony Hawk uh, set up, we're going to browse, and then we're going to go to where our thug installer is so we'll go downloads and thug pro setup uh put in uh, uh quotations and then press play and then this will run the installer now so we'll press install and now, oh. and then now we just need to point to where Thug is installed. So it'd be Deck Games Thug Two, and then this is looking for the game folder. And now it's just going through uh, the install process. This takes a little bit, so I'm going to pause it, and then we'll be able to resume once it's ready. Uh, so basically, once it's ready, it'll say, uh, installation completed. And we close out of it. And then now we just find where uh, the Thug Pro installation would be. So I'm going to pause it real quick just so I can remember where the launcher exe is. So, yeah. So when uh, Thug Pro uh, installs. We'll need to go into Proton Tricks because it installs in its prefix. So we're just going to go to where uh, our setup is. Select default wine prefix, and then browse files. So it's going to be hidden. So we're going to go to Drive C, Users. Going to go to Steam User, and then we're going to go into, I believe, application. Wait, wait, no, not application data. App data. Roam. Wait, wait, no. Local. Yep, Thug Pro, and then there it is. So I'm just going to copy this whole entire Thug Pro folder. Well, actually, yeah, I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm going to move this into my uh, games folder. Uh, 
and then now I'm going to go into my Thug Pro and then select the Thug Pro EXE. Put that in quotations and then press play and then this should launch me into Thug Pro. Okay, so th yeah, I'm gonna go set the launcher so it looks a bit nicer. Oh, it's kind of a bit of a pixelated mess. So let me just set it to launcher. And we're going to set this as 1280 by 720, and then save and exit. Then set this back to Thug Pro, and then that should fix it. Validating and there we go. Ah, that is much nicer. Anyway, that is how to install Tony Hawk's Underground 2 on Steam Deck slash Linux, also with an install guide on how to set up Thug Pro on the Steam Deck slash Linux. Anyway, if you thought the video was helpful and you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, if you dislike the video for some reason, give it a dislike. Uh, any questions or comments, you can leave those uh, down below. Uh, I have... Uh, a discord that I will pin as a comment if you want to uh, join it. Anyway, uh, subscribe and uh, thanks for stopping at Dead Boys Corner. Y'all have a good one. Peace.